Okay, so in here, if I, again, I did the merge already, so what I can do is I can actually delete the branch, get branch dash D dash D is for delete. Okay, and it didn't give me any errors because it knows I merged it already. All the changes that I wanted are already in there. All right, so if I look at my branches now, you'll see that first feature branch is gone. Okay, so that's where we are sitting right now. So I wanna show you what happens now if I actually change the master branch since I changed the, the feature branch that I'm working on, okay? So let's create a new branch off of master now. So if we do git checkout dash b again, and we'll call this um, second feature, okay? So again, we're creating a new context, all right? And we are uh, creating a new pointer Okay, so we got our second feature here. So again, it's intended pathway. And again, we have a new pointer ready ready to work on this new intended branch here, okay? Okay, so let's do the same thing we did before. So what branch are we sitting on? We're sitting on the second feature. Let's make some changes here. Um, you know, uh, new feature two. Okay, let's stage it. Let's commit it. Okay, so that is committed. So what happened there? Again, I created another uh, commit, but now it's in this other context. So master was left behind here. And let's do another commit. Um, so let's say and let's stage it and let's commit it. Okay, so we're good to go. And that created another one. All right, so this is where we're sitting now. Uh, whoops, remember this, this point actually moves up with it. Okay, so now let's go back to the master branch. Okay, so let's check out to the master branch. All right, so here we are on the master branch. Now remember, because I'm on the master branch now, I'm using this intended pathway, the gray intended pathway. So if I make a change here, all right, so let's say I make a change here. What's gonna happen is if I stage that and commit it, master change, okay. What it's done is it's created another commit, but within this context, all right? So now, if you see this, we're sitting in a situation where a fast forward is not possible, right? Because I can't just move this master branch over to here. I can't just, you know, I can't just move this pointer from here up to here because now, you know, I, I'd be losing this, I'd be losing this commit right here. So if I try to do a merge from second feature into master, a fast forward won't happen, okay? And you'll actually see that. So let's check, uh, we're already sitting on master, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna merge the second feature now. But because I'm sitting in a condition where the fast forward's not possible, what Git is gonna to try to do is it's gonna to try to use its own uh, merging engine, okay? It's gonna to try to merge the changes from here into and from here and create actually a brand new commit, okay? It's actually gonna to try to create this new commit up here all right, that's a merge between this guy. Uh, let me highlight this so you can actually see it. Um, okay. So 
So the two that we're dealing with, okay, it's this gray commit and this blue commit. It's gonna try to use those two commits, those two states of the code and merge them together, again, using its logic and create a third commit, okay? Which would sit um, where this red thing is. Okay, it's gonna try to create that using this and this. Now, if it fails to do that and it can't really figure out what you're trying to do when you're merging, then it'll report a conflict and you have to go fix it yourself. But if, if it doesn't and it's pretty smart, then it'll just create that new commit. Okay, so let's try this out. So I'm gonna do git merge second feature and then hit enter and boom. So I tried to do the auto merge and it actually failed. It said conflict. So you have to merge the conflict in readme, okay? So we're gonna do we're gonna merge that conflict and actually merging conflicts is pretty easy in um, in Git. All you have to do is go to the file where it's reporting the problem, okay? And you'll see what it does is it says, okay, the stuff that is currently in your branch, the branch that you're sitting on, okay, is above the equal 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 line above this line. So make a change here. And the stuff below is the stuff that's coming from the branch that you're trying to merge. So rather than trying to merge them together, it just presents them both for you, and you pick and choose what you want. Okay, now in my case, you know, I want them both. So I'm going to get rid of these uh, markers. All right, and I'm gonna keep everything that's there. You can delete it, you can edit, you can do whatever you want, just a text editor at that point, okay? So I wanna keep them both. And then all you have to do is re-add it. So restage it and then commit merged second feature into master branch. Boom. And at that point, this has actually been created. Okay. So that's what happens if you can't do a fast forward. It has to use its engine, its, its merging engine to figure out what you want from here and what you want from here. If that gray box didn't exist and you were in a stage where you could fast forward, you just move that, that pointer up to the top. Okay? So I hope this gives you a better understanding of what branches really are. Okay? They're a pointer plus a, um, a pointer plus a intended pathway. Okay? And if the branch that you check out onto has not, like if you're starting on master and you check out into feature, second feature and the master branch has not been touched since you went and did your second feature branch, when you do a merge, all it has to do is move that pointer up through the pathway, okay? It doesn't have to do any merging engine, and that's what fast forward is all about. The very last point I will leave you guys with is um, a, lo a lot of people will see these kind of diagrams and when it deals with Git. Um, the, these are, are really good to understand the structure of Git, and some of you might ask me, what is the head pointer? Okay, what the head pointer is... So you see we have a master pointer here, okay? And we have a second feature pointer here, okay? These are the branches, right? These are the contexts, right? Remember what I said a branch is. A branch is a pointer plus an intended pathway. What the head pointer is, okay, is it's basically whatever current branch you're sitting on, the head of that, that branch. So if I am on the master branch, this is where the head pointer lies. If I'm on the second feature branch, the head pointer points over here. That's all the head pointer is. Okay, it's it's your it's your current working copies uh, frontmost commit. Okay, so once you understand this concept that Git is really a combination of commit objects and pointers, you really get to understand it all. So hopefully you understand fast forward now. Uh, and the last video, the second video I'm going to do is going to be about rebasing.